Dear Heavenly Father God, we come before your throne of grace yes. in time of need. Yes. And the Heavenly Father. 
Father God, first of all, we have need to worship you, dear God, to praise your holy name, to call on the name that's above every name, your son, Jesus Christ. And we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father God, we thank you for waking us up this morning in our right minds, dear God. Able to come to church to your house, dear God, to give you your just need, dear Heavenly Father God. And dear God, we also thank you, Heavenly Father God, that we had a mind to think on you, dear God. For you saw it fit to wake us up this morning. You saw it fit, dear Heavenly Father God, that we made it safe here. And we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. And dear God, your grace and your mercy endure it forever. And we thank you that you renew this grace yeah. every day, dear God. Yeah. That we have a fresh start, dear Heavenly Father God. That as we walk through this earth, dear Heavenly Father God, that we are called to be a light unto this earth. Yeah. And we thank you for the opportunity. Dear God, you heard all the requests for those that are in dire need, for those yeah. who are sick, those who need help, those who need strength, those who just need encouragement. And dear Heavenly Father God, we know that you are the author of your word, you are the finisher of your word, and that you will come through. For you say you'll never leave us or forsake us. But you say you're always there. So we thank you right now, dear Heavenly Father God, for those of us who are here, that we're still here. Even your son who died on the cross, he was dead, buried, and rose again with all power in his hand. He said, I'm still here to be with you. I'm still here to cover you because it's by your precious blood that we are covered. If we would just call on the name of Jesus and plead the blood of Jesus in every situation, God will show up and show out. Yes, he will. And we thank you right now, dear Heavenly Father. We pray for this world, for everything that's going on, dear God, but we know that you already know what's going on. And we ask the Heavenly Father God that your grace and your mercy cover us. We ask the Heavenly Father God most foremost that if we would just repent. Repent and turn from our wicked ways, dear God. That we would cast out all evil thoughts and think on the things that you require us to think on. That we would speak in love and act in love, dear God. That things would be better in this world. And that we would love one another as we ought to, dear God that we will see your way and not our way. And so we thank you right now, dear God. We thank the Heavenly Father God for answering the prayers. We thank the Heavenly Father God for being there just for us. And dear God, as we continue in this worship service, I ask the Heavenly Father God that you touch the speaker of the album. Bless each and every heart, soul, and mind that's here under the sound of my voice, dear God. That they would have a joy in their heart and that they will give you all the praise and all the glory for it's in Jesus' precious name. And the church say amen. 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 amen.
Turn with me now for the Gospel reading. It's found in the Gospel according to St. Mark, the ninth chapter, beginning with verses, beginning with verse 30 and reading down through verse 35. And it's found on page 45, I believe, of the Red Pew Bible, in the, in the New Testament, page 45. Is that right? Say it again, please. Mark, the ninth chapter, verses 30 through 35. Amen. Let us stand, please. Going from there, he passed through Galilee. But Jesus did not want anyone to know because he was teaching his disciples. He told them, the Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men. They will kill him, and after three days he will rise. But they did not understand the statement, and they were afraid to ask him about it. Then they came to Capernaum. While Jesus was in the house, he asked them, what were you discussing on the way? But they were silent. For on the way, they had been arguing about which of them was the greatest. Sitting down, Jesus called the twelve and said, If anyone wants to be first, he must be the last of all and the servant of all. The word of God to the people of God. Thank you, God. God. something that drives us that when we 
are successful, we want to glory in it. We want to be recognized for it. It's just human nature. But I think also, in this case, these disciples misunderstood what Jesus expected of them. Jesus chose these 12 disciples because each one of them had a unique talent, a unique personality, a unique skill that would be used in building up and lifting up the kingdom of God. In other words, they had all been given at least one spiritual gift that was helpful to promoting the ministry. In the same manner, my friends, we too have been given at least one talent, some of us more than one, one talent at least. And we ought to utilize this particular talent, this particular gift, or whatever it is that God has given to you, we ought to utilize it in service to others as we serve God. The disciples didn't understand that Jesus called them to be servants. They seem to seek to be served rather than servants. He called them to use their God-given talents, gifts, and abilities to help others. It's the same with us this morning. And as we give of ourselves, as we help others, then we will begin to understand just what it means to be called of God. Just what it means to follow Him. Many years ago when I received the call, when I answered the call. When I stopped running from the call, I gave myself and I had no idea as to what God was going to do with me. In fact, it was just the opposite. When I had given myself, myself, I had my own mindset as to what I wanted to do and how I wanted to, to do it and even where I wanted to serve. Charleston was the furthest thing from my mind. But as I followed Christ, as I heed to his calling, I found myself doing those things that I didn't want to do. I found myself going to those places that I didn't want to go. I found myself yielding to him and allowing him to bring me and take me wherever it is that he needed me. You see, my friends, when we allow God to use us, we then will discover what our true spiritual gifts are, and we will discover what it is that God wants us to do. The other things that the disciples didn't understand is that they were dependent upon each other. They were to serve together, not one ruling over the other, but to serve together. Paul says it this way, for as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body being many are one body. So also is Christ, for by one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jew or Greek, whether slave or free, and have all been made to drink one spirit. For in fact, the body is not one member, but many. If the foot should say, because I am, a, I am not a hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, am I not of the body? Is there therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where would the smelling? But now God has set the members, each one of them, in the body just as he pleased. And if they were all one member, where would the body be? But now indeed there are many members, yet one body. Bishop Holston loves to say, we are better together 
than we are apart. Yes, we are. You see, God has set us all in his body to be the individual parts of the body that functions as one body. You see, when we serve together, we allow the spirit of joy and peace to come within the body of Christ. I remember when, when Crystal and Kimberly used to go down to the uh, uh, food bank on Saturday mornings, and they would always come back talking about how much fun they had serving. And I know many of us have similar stories of where we have helped somebody, where we have come together as a church to, to serve the community or to, or to help some entity. And we always talk about how good that makes us feel. You see, that's what the Spirit of God is about. When we give of ourselves, God blesses us and makes us know that He is our Savior and that the ministry belongs to to us because we are his disciples. Are you a disciple this morning? Yes. You see, we are to use whatever gift we have. Just like Trevor coming in this morning and hopping on the drums. I didn't ask him to do that. He did it because that's his gift. And he wanted to share it with the church, just like, just like Tracy. You know, Tracy can preach, Tracy can preach, Tracy can sing. Those are the gifts God has given her. Same with Jonathan. We never asked Jonathan to come and bring his guitar and, and play. But that's his gift. And he readily shares it with the church. Likewise, we have gifts. And we need to explore what those gifts are and give those gifts back to God because that's why God gave them to us in the first place. Yeah. He gave them to us that we might share yes, right. yes. in his body. Yes. And when we work together as the body of Christ, we form a bond. Just like the bonds in, in, in our physical body. You can't live without a heart. You, you can't live very long without a kidney. These things sustain the body. And that's what you do this morning. You sustain the body by coming here on Sunday morning, by being a part of the church and doing whatever you can to support the church. You are a vital part of the body of Christ. Amen. Now what happens sometimes, and I'm just going to hit this very briefly, what happens sometimes, the reason the body doesn't function is because we find excuses. Mm. Come on now. Yeah. We find excuses. I don't have time. I don't know what, what they need me to do, so I'm, I'm not even going to ask. I don't have any special skills. Well, they really don't need me. We hear it. But God is saying that we are all part of the body. And there is something here for everybody. There is something that we all can do. No matter how small it is, there is work to do. Are you a disciple? You see, my friends, God has never really ever called those that are fully equipped. No, it's the opposite. You see, when he calls us and we say yes, it is then that he equips us. He gives us what we need. God uses us to change the course of history if we allow him. You see, Moses didn't, 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 didn't think he could be a good leader because he said he couldn't speak. But God, through Moses, brought Israel, got, brought Israel out of Egypt. David never thought for a moment that, that, that he could slay Goliath, but, but when God spoke to him and he went down to the brook and he picked up the stone, there was no doubt in his mind that God was going to use him to slay the giant. God is calling us to be his disciples. And when we say yes, it is then that God will say, here is what you need. Go. And be fruitful. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Drink from this, all of you. 
This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world. Until Christ comes in final victory, we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, with the confidence of the children of God, let us pray. Our Father, 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 as we forgive those who sin against us, save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Because there is one loaf, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The bread which we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. The cup over which we give thanks is a sharing in the blood of Christ. The body of Christ given for you. Amen. 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 The blood of Christ given for you. Amen. Amen. This is the body. Let us take this and eat it. And remember that Christ gave himself for us. This is his blood poured out on Calvary that we might have a right to the tree of life. Let us drink. Shall we pray? Eternal God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which we have given ourselves to, to uh, which you've given uh, yourself to us, excuse me. Grant that we may go into the world on the strength of your spirit. Give ourselves for others. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
of those that were born in the month of September, our birthday people, uh, Sierra Singleton, who's out sick today, so please uh, pray for her. And uh, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, who else is sick right now? Uh, Peyton and Preston. Peyton and oh. Preston. Preston too. Mm -hmm. Lord of mercy. Okay. Keep them in your prayers. Um, okay, Sierra Singleton. Uh, Sierra Holmes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, you know, it, it's terrible when you write things down. When it's written down, you read what it's not. When you know better. Sierra Singleton Holmes. How about that? <laughs> okay. Uh, Bernard Fielding. Or Rashima Frazier, Donald Long. Uh, not Fielding. Not Fielding. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we scratched Fielding. Sorry. Okay, well, okay. Fielding. All right. Uh, D'Antonio Brown, Howard Pine, Ed Gibbons, and Malika Harris. Malachi, Malachi. excuse me. Malachi Harris. Just right. one. You got a birthday this one. Huh? <laughs> That's all right. Praise the Lord for my praise. Amen. Y'all ready? Yeah. Happy birthday. Amen. 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 Amen.